Hi there. Today I'm going to teach you about a special thing in automations in Home Assistant. It's called trigger IDs. Trigger IDs really help in diminishing the amount of automations you have in Home Assistant. So let's dive into this. So I'm going to teach you about trigger IDs in automations in Home Assistant. But first, let me tell you how automations generally work. So as you can see, this is how automations are built up in Home Assistant. You start an automation, then first it goes to a couple of triggers. That basically means what should this automation trigger upon. Then you have some conditions. For instance, uh, this automation can only run between 9 o'clock in the morning and 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And then you have the actions, which are basically the actions that really take place. So this is, for instance, switch on a light or any other action that you can think about. Before we had trigger IDs, you had to create separate automations for every action you want to take. So for instance, if you want to light up a light based on motion, you had to create an automation for that. And if you wanted to turn off the light, uh, if there was no motion anymore, then you had to create another action for that, or another automation for that. And uh, with trigger IDs, that's much more simple because with trigger IDs, you can now do both tasks in only one automation. So that saves you one automation. So let me show you how automations work. So we're going to make an example. Let's go to configuration, automation and scenes, and I'm going to create a new automation here. Click add automation. We're not going to select a blueprint because this is a tutorial how to do it yourself. So we are going to start with an empty automation. And in the past, what you would do is for every action, you had to create a separate automation. So what you normally would do in the past was for instance you have an automation called light turn on kitchen then you go to a trigger uh, let's say the motion sensor in the kitchen so kitchen mo motion motion sensor and if this kitchen motion sensor starts detecting motion then you would turn on the light so for instance go to call service and the service is light dot turn on and then you would select an entity and in this case it would be kitchen so what this automation does is as soon as the kitchen motion sensor starts detecting motion then it will turn on the kitchen lights and for turning off you had to create a separate automation to turn it off but now the fun kicks in because now we have trigger IDs and with trigger IDs you can do both actions within the same automation so that saves you one automation so let's call this now light toggle kitchen lights now we're going to create the trigger kitchen motion sensor started detected motion and if you click on the three dots here you can see you can give this trigger a trigger ID so I'm going to edit it and give the trigger ID kitchen on. Now we create another trigger. Again, device, kitchen, motion sensor. But now the device is going to stop detecting motion. And we are going to give this device the trigger ID. Uh, kitchen off off so basically I now have two triggers and I can identify the triggers based on the trigger ID so now I go to actions and I'm going to remove this action that I created I'm going to start again and now I can choose uh, based on the trigger ID what action I want to use so i'm going to add a choose action first so let's go to action i'm going to choose and within choose you see you have conditions and you have actions so in this case the condition is checking on the trigger id 
So I'm going to add a condition first. Add condition. And there you see that you can select the trigger condition. And if I click that, I can choose between the trigger IDs that I created on top. So kitchen on and kitchen off. These are these two trigger IDs. Kitchen on, kitchen off. So I'm going to say trigger ID, kitchen on. What should happen based on this trigger ID? I'm going to add an action. I can add more conditions, but I'll keep it simple now. So I'm going to add an action and I'm going to say here, call service light dot turn on and I'm going to choose the kitchen. So that's my first option, option one, if trigger ID is kitchen on. So basically, if I go look at kitchen on, if the kitchen motion sensor started detecting motion, then do this action, light turn on kitchen. Now we scroll down and we can add another option. We can also add more actions, but let's keep it simple. I'm going to add another option. This option again has conditions and actions. So I'm going to add condition and I'm going to select trigger again. But this case, in this case, I will select the trigger ID kitchen off. So basically, when the motion sensor stop detecting motion. Then I'm going to add an action here because when the motion sen sensor stop detecting motion, I want the lights to turn off. So I'm going to add an action. I'm going to select again for call service, light, and this in this case, light turn off. And I'm going to choose the entity kitchen again. So let's wrap this up. Go all the way to the top. So I defined the name of my automation and I'm defining the two so trigger IDs here. So trigger ID one is kitchen on and trigger ID two is kitchen off. And then in the actions part, I have a choose action type and within that choose action type, I'm going to act upon the triggers. So I'm the first one is acting upon kitchen on. If the trigger ID is kitchen on, then light turn on the kitchen. I scroll down. If the trigger ID is off, then I'm going to call the service light turn off kitchen. So that's basically how you can create this. And if I save it, I now only have one automation for turning on and turning off the lights instead of two automations, which I had to do before we had trigger IDs. What you can also do, it's just an extra, is let's say, uh, where is it? Let's say we can add a general condition here that also does another test. For instance, let's say this condition uh, says that this automation can only work between nine o'clock in the morning and nine o'clock in the evening. So I'm going to add on condition time and I'm going to say this should work after 9 a.m. and before 9 p.m. And I can also select on what days of the week I would like to have this to work. So basically what this automation now does is it toggles the lights between 9 a.m. in the morning and 9 p.m. in the afternoon or in the evening. So that is one example of how you can use trigger IDs. Um, I can give a quick other example if you like. So for instance, um, add automation. I'm going to add, start with an empty automation and I'm going to call this mm, lights, toggle lights on sunset and sunrise. For instance, if you have an outdoor light that you want to have automatically to turn on and automatically to turn off. Um, so 
I'm going to create two triggers again, but this time the triggers are different. I have one trigger that is done on sun, on sunrise. So on sunrise, I'm going to give this trigger a trigger ID. Let's call it sunrise. And I have another trigger, sun. I'll call it sunset, and I give it the trigger ID sun set. So basically I have now two triggers, one that will trigger on sunrise and another one that will trigger on sunset and they have two trigger IDs sunrise and sunset. Now I go to actions again and I am going to add the choose action. Then I'm going to add another condition, in this case trigger again and I'm going to say on sun rise I want all the lights are oh, let's say my kitchen lights to turn off so I'm going to actions at action it's a call service light dot turn off and I can choose the lights that I want to turn off at that moment well maybe my garden spots that's a better idea than kitchen. And then I'm going to add another option, option two. And the condition here is, uh, again, trigger, but then sun set. And on sun set, I want to add an action, again, service light dot turn on. And I'm going to choose the entity, in this case, garden spots. So what this automation does now is we have two triggers. Trigger one is sunrise. Trigger two is sunset. And based on the trigger sunrise, the lights turn off. And if the trigger ID is sunset, then the garden spots are turning on. And now go back to automations. So in a nutshell, this is how trigger IDs work. It's really powerful to use because you need less automations than you needed before. I hope this video helped you. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Bye bye.